Hello friends, this video on body fluids and circulation part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now all of us have blood inside our body. Forget about other animals. Let us talk only about human beings. All of us have blood inside our body. Now all of in, in, inside the blood of each one of us, we have all these four components, plasma, RBCs, WBCs and platelets. So that means that we all have the same type of blood, right? But have you ever heard people asking that what is your blood group? Some say that my blood group is A positive. Somebody says my blood group is B negative. Somebody says my blood group is O positive. You would have come across people talking about their blood groups. So now the question is when we know that okay blood is something which is a red colored fluid uh, which has these four components in it and all of us have the same thing. So when the composition of blood is same inside each one of our body then why do we have different blood groups? Quite interesting right? <clears throat> so what is the concept of having different blood groups? Let us have a quick look. Now, initially it was assumed that all blood is same in all human beings. So the blood which is present inside the body of any human being is going to be the same as is present in somebody else. But later it was realized that that was not the fact. How it was realized? It was realized by tragic consequences of blood transfusions. like. Sometimes it happened that a person met some accident and there was severe loss of blood. So uh, the doctors needed to do some blood transfusion that is give him some external blood from outside. So what did they do? They took blood from some other healthy person and put that blood inside the body of the patient. And it was found that in most of the cases the patient died because of such blood transfusions. So that causes, caused a confusion in the mind of many people that why is it that when we know that the blood inside each and every human being is the same then why does it happen that when the blood from one person's body is passed into or is transferred into the blood of another person the person dies. That means there is some difference in the blood of one person from another. <clears throat> so that is where the thought of considering whether the blood inside every human being is the same or there is some difference. So that is where this concept started or this thinking started and then later it was found that it was not the same. The blood inside each and every human being is not the same and why is it not same? Because even though they all the blood is made up of these four components which I mentioned some time back but <clears throat> the cells for example the RBCs the structure of the RBCs are different in different blood. In some blood, the structure of RBCs are different. So when I say the structure is different, that means the proteins which are present on the surface. In, in certain types of blood, there are some specific proteins which are present on the surface of the red blood cells. Whereas in some other type of blood, there are some different proteins which are present on the surface of the red blood cells. Similarly, in some cases, there are, in some blood types, there are some specific proteins which are present in the blood plasma. Whereas again in some other type of blood, there are some different type of proteins which are present in the blood plasma. So even though the four components of blood remains the same in all types of blood, but the type of proteins changes. And due to the difference in this type of proteins, the <coughs> tragic consequences happened because one particular type of blood was not compatible with some other type of blood. So that is how there were a lot of studies which were done on this and then it was realized that there were two broad categories of blood groupings. That is blood can be divided into different types based on two groupings. The first grouping was ABO grouping and the second one was RH grouping. So these were the two broad groupings. Now they were not the types of blood. They were the basis of classifying blood. So based on this ABO group grouping concept, blood was supposed to be of four types. Blood in the sense there were four types or four categories of blood groups. 
Similarly, on the basis of this RH grouping, there were four types of, I mean, there were two types of blood, like RH positive and RH negative. These were the two types of blood based on RH grouping. Similarly, based on ABO grouping, there were four types of blood group, ABO and AB. So these were the types of blood. So now we will see why, I mean, on what basis were these types of blood different and how their compatibility impacted. Like how can we say that, okay, whether this particular blood group is compatible with this particular blood group or not. So how do we say that compatibility? So let us first talk about the ABO grouping. So let us look at the basis of ABO grouping. Now, this grouping was based on antigens and antibodies. Now, you got two new terms here. So, what are antigens and what are antibodies? So, let us try to understand that. Now, antigens are protein structures that are present on the surface of RBCs, that is the red blood cells. So, somewhat like this. Let us suppose this is a red blood cell. Now there are some protein structures which are present on the surface of this red blood cells. So these proteins which are present on the surface of the red blood cells are called antigens. Now there are two types of antigens A and B. So these are the two types of antigens that can be present on the surface of the uh, RBCs. Now similarly there are proteins which exist in plasma that can attack and cause destruction of the RBCs. Now this clumping of RBCs which can lead to their death happens due to the protein structures which are present in plasma. So such protein structures are known as antibodies. So these are the proteins produced in plasma in response to the antigens. Now let us suppose there is a specific type of antigen which is present on the surface of the RBCs. So in response to that some specific proteins will be produced in the plasma. Right? So these proteins are known as antibodies. So the proteins which are present on RBCs are called antigens and the proteins which are present in the plasma are called antibodies. Now there is a very uh, important thing which we have to understand here is the interaction between the antigens and antibodies. There are certain types of antigens which can actually attach themselves to the antibodies gen and it can actually destroy the RBC, the entire RBC. So there are specific type of antibodies. So we need to take care and that is where the uh, process and that is where the concept of compatibility comes into picture. That is why we say that one blood group might not, might not be compatible with some other blood group. That's because maybe the antigen in one blood group is not compatible with the antibody in the other blood group. So the antibody can attack and destroy the uh, red blood cells. So this is where the compatibility of blood groups during transfusion comes into picture. So now we will see in detail what are the different types of blood groups based on the different antigens and antibodies and we will also see which antigen is compatible with which antibody and in turn which blood group is compatible with which blood group and, with, and is not compatible with which blood group. So what are there four types of blood group based on ABO grouping that is based on this antigen antibody grouping there are four types of blood group A, B, AB and O. So these are the four types of blood groups which exist based on ABO grouping and ABO grouping is all about different antigen and different antibodies. So let us try to understand what is blood group A, what is blood group B, AB and O. Now when I say blood group A, I mean that a specific type of blood where the red blood cells will have a specific type of protein structures on their surface. That is they will have a specific type of antigen on their surface. So here you see the blue colored structure here. So these represents the specific antigens which will be present on the surface of red blood cells in case of blood group A. Similarly, when I say blood group B, they will have the specific type of antigen B. You remember I said that there are two types of antigens, A and B. So these are the antigens A which are present in case of blood group A. 
And in case of blood group B, the protein structures which are present on the surface, they are B antigens. So this is blood group B. So if you see the A antigens are represented in blue color and the B antigens are represented in green color. Now if I talk about blood group AB, that means they have both A antigens and B antigens present on their surface. So that is why you see they have both green and blue structures on their surface. So this is blood group AB. And blood group O, that means they do not have any antigen on the surface. So the red blood cells in case of blood group O will not have any antigens on their surface. So that is blood group O. So these are the four types of blood groups based on ABO grouping. So now the question is how the concept of compatibility comes into picture. That is due to the presence of the antibodies and the antibodies are present in the plasma and these cells are nothing but the red blood cells. So these red blood cells are embedded in the plasma. So they are present in the plasma. Now as a result of these antigens, there are some proteins which are produced in the plasma and they are called antibodies. Now in order that a particular blood group is compatible with some other blood group, it is very important that the antigens and the antibodies of the two blood groups are compatible with each other because the antibodies have the potential to destruct the RBCs if they are able to destroy the or if they are able to attack the antigens of that particular RBC. So we need to actually study the antigen-antibody interaction. So let us... Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.